Hey, what's up, everybody? You know what this is. It's your boy, Will. And I just got done watching the uh, acceptance speech for Paul Ryan on uh, TV. And uh, this video is going to be about the pros and cons of Romney picking P Paul Ryan as his running mate. Okay, let's start with the pros real quick. Pros. The man is a policy beast. Can't no one on the Democratic side touch him. If you ever seen this man perform and speak on shows like Meet the Press or Face the Nation or even Obama TV with George Stephanopoulos, you know this man knows his stuff. And anyone who goes up against him gets instantly crushed. So I actually feel pity and sorry for Joe Biden when they have the one vice presidential debate in the fall. It's going to be a friggin' bloodbath. The man is a friggin' beast. So that's positive number one. Number two, he's young and photogenic. And this beauty pageant era of presidential politics. We need someone who looks the part. He's young. He's still kind of hip. The man works out, so they couldn't, you know, if they would have picked Chris Christie, one of the things the, the people would have been doing, uh, the media, the, the mainstream media would have been doing, was talking about how fat he was instead of how he turned New Jersey around. So, you know, just from the um, aesthetics and perception. Um, eye candy, if you want to call it. Paul Ryan is a good look. Young, energetic, very smart. Um, he also balances out the ticket. That's another pro. You know, Romney's the business guy. Romney has the private sector experience. But you can't get anybody who's more respected in Congress, regardless of whether they agree with him or not, or like him as far as his politics, but as far as his knowledge and know-how and his ability to work across the aisles and get things done and put forth legislation, something our former president, when he was Senator Barack Obama, never could accomplish, that, w that is Paul Ryan. So that is a definite pro. The con. The con will be Medicare. The press is going to try to destroy Paul Ryan the Romney Ryan ticket with Medicare. They're just going to talk up Medicare, Medicare, Medicare. It's going to be the Medicare election from this point forward when it comes to the media. They're going to use that Paul Ryan plan, Prosperity for America, whatever it's called. They're going to beat him aside the head with the one aspect that they think is going to be a winner for their chosen candidate, which is Barack Obama. They're going to hit him so hard with Medicare. I mean, they even started today. If you paid attention to the news coverage, Everything was about Medicare when it came out of anybody on any channel's mouth who was an anchor or a political commentator. All they could talk about was Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, you know, the third rail of politics. You don't touch, you don't change. But see, if we don't change these things, we are in trouble. And these are things that Paul Ryan understands, that we got to do something. I mean, in his speech, he talked about how, this, you know, Obama's worried about the next election instead of the next generation. I think most people are worried about themselves instead of the next generation. If people truly love their children and their grandchildren, we need to make sacrifices now so they'll have a better life later. But I don't think the Obama administration understands that because I honestly don't think most Americans understand that, especially Democrats and liberals, because really, you know, Obama is a selfish man. His policies are selfish. His, his administration is selfish. Liberals are selfish. They only think about the here and now. They don't think about down the road. It's all about trying to hand somebody something to get something. And, and it's a sad philosophy. And I am ashamed of myself that I actually believed in that garbage for over 16 years. But you know what? Everybody has their what they call epiphany, and I had my epiphany, and thank God I did. I am conservative, and I'm proud. Another con, um, you know, he has a voting record. See, Obama's one of his strengths is he didn't have a voting record. Paul Ryan has a voting record. So they're going to be able to pick through that, and some things are going to come out that probably people don't like, maybe some connections to the Bush administration. You know, a lot of people were sad that Rubio wasn't picked. Let me 
know, let me tell you something about Rubio. Rubio, Rubio is a young, energetic star too, but the opposition research on him was probably so intense. I'm probably thinking four or five notepads, books, uh, binders full of stuff on Rubio. And we would have been talking about his credit cards and everything. I'm sorry, let me go back to another pro for um, Paul Ryan. He's squeaky clean. The guy is a workout enthusiast. He has a great family, um, great-looking kids, as you probably saw if you watched the video. So they can't come at him about some kind of scandal or something like that. And I guarantee you, most likely, if the guy works out the way they say he is, when he takes off his shirt, he's going to look a hell of a lot better than Barack Obama. And the dude probably got a six-pack, but, you know, whatever. Um, back to the cons. You know, so with having a voting record like that, it might be a problem. But, you know, I'm enthusiastic about this because this shows the seriousness of Romney and what he wants to do. It really is now a choice election, a contrast between do you want government to run your life or do you want to run your own life? Do you want government to get out of the way so that you can start prospering, businesses start prospering, people can start making their own choices and start hiring people? I mean, this, this, you know, being serious and making serious choices has so many ramifications for the country, for the people of this country. And I hope people see that this shows an executive decision on Romney's part that he picked somebody who is not only a good policy person but a good people person. See, a lot of companies make the mistake of thinking it's all about policy, policy wall, policy wall, the guy who knows the manual the best. But sometimes you've got to have a balance, somebody who knows people, somebody who knows how to work with people, but also has enough knowledge to get the job done. And that way you get respect because some people you know, it's better to be respected in most cases than feared. And if you are a manager like me and have management experience, you know that's the truth. You get more productivity out of people when they respect you. Regardless of whether they like you or not, they respect you. And they know that you know what they're doing, that you know what you're doing. But they, I'm sorry, they also like you as well. So, you know, it's, it's just a, it's just a old supervisor management thing. But anyway, let me get off this uh, video um, I'm really excited about Romney Ryan. I know a lot of you Ron Paul people out there, or Rubio people, or even kind of like Condoleezza Rice people are not very happy right now. But think about this and the seriousness of the discussion, the seriousness of the problems that we're facing, and that this choice is a serious choice by our by our presidential nominee. The guy showed that, hey, it's about the economy, and he put somebody on a ticket that can help him get us back in the right, going in the right direction. So this is your boy, Will. I'm out.